every word i'm speaking right now is being transcribed into text live within milliseconds appearing as caption right here on the screen this is possible with video sdk's real time transcription feature where every spoken word are instantly accessible through text in this video i'll walk you through how you can integrate this feature into your react application how you can manage different transcription state and how you can make use of webhooks for better automated workflows i'm sumit so i'm a developer advocate at vdstk.live first let's start with project setup to get started i created a very basic react application for you where you can experiment with real time transcription feature all the steps that i will be discussing in upcoming segments are there in this readme with detail explanation to get started with this project all we need to do is to clone this repository then we need to create an authentication token so that we can make authorized request to video sdk's endpoints all right so let's start with very first step which is cloning this repository in your computer in any folder you want you can clone this repository by simply typing git clone and then this url after cloning this repository let's navigate to uh, this folder and first we need to install all the dependencies that are required for this application to work by simply typing npm install once that done we can open this project in vs code next step is to create an authentication token to create authentication token we can navigate to app.vdstk.live after successful login you will see a dashboard that look like this here you can see all your api key to generate an authentication token all you need to do is to click this key icon here select an expiry for your token then hit this next button now this step is important once we generated an authentication token make sure to save it somewhere safe place because this is the only time you will see your authentication token obviously you can create another out token so let's add it here in our project let's create a dot env file this is the template file we can add this format here in dot env file once that done we can run this application by simply typing npm run dev as you can see our application is running on localhost 5173 when I click this start transcription button, nothing is happening so far. To implement real time transcription, we can utilize use transcription hook provided by VDSDK's React library. With this hook, we got access to method that can initialize and terminate real time transcription. Mainly, we got two method one is start transcription and another is stop transcription also there are events that will give us instant notification for instance uh, we have this event transcription state changed this event will be active whenever there is a change in transcription state and also uh, we have event called transcription text this event will uh, provide us real-time transcribed text as i speak my voice will be converted into text and that capture text will be available through this event next to work with real-time transcription it is important to understand the different states it goes through during a session you can always access current transcription state through use meeting hook there are four possible transcription state we can access them through constant object provided by vdstk if you look at this object there are possible states that are defined for different feature for instance there are four possible state for recording four possible state for live streaming also uh, we got four possible state for transcription event as well and we can access those event through this constant object next step is to uh, implement logic for starting and stopping transcription here when i click the start transcription nothing is happening because i haven't implemented any function for that in controls you will find this start transcription button here uh, we can uh, define a function handle transcription in this function if transcription is stopped we can uh, invoke that start transcription method and if it is uh, already started user click that button again then we can stop transcription let's first import use transcription hook 
With this use transcription hook, we got access to method for starting and stopping transcription. Also, we got two event. One is on transcription state changed. And the second one is on transcription text. Also, we can access current transcription state through use meeting hook. Here in this handle transcription method, if transcription state is equal to transcription started, in that case, we can stop transcription. Else, if transcription state is equal to transcription stopped, in that case, we can execute start transcription. Once that done, the last step that remains is managing UI. When I click start transcription button, I want to be able to display some sort of text here so that whoever is part of this meeting can easily understand the transcribed version of my voice. Here, uh, I already told you we got this event on transcription text. Through this event, we can access, uh, you know, participant ID, participant name. Now, these values are important because based on this value, we can make our meeting more interactive, right? We can, you know, highlight who is speaking based on this participant name or this participant ID. Right now, only thing I need here is this text. First, let me define a local state so that I can uh, capture that text. I will call it transcription text a method to update transcription text here in this event from from this data object i can access transcribed text and let's set transcription text here and we can create some sort of ui to display that text here uh, when transcription state is equal to transcription started in that case we can display that ui here also i want to be able to change the text inside that button here when transcription state is equal to transcription started then i can say stop transcription else start transcription Maybe we can add one more state here for uh, transcription starting to display a message here that transcription is in starting phase. When transcription is in starting phase, you can say starting. Let's see if everything is working fine. Here when I clicked start transcription, the status is changed to starting. Once transcription is started, you will be able to see this UI here, some sort of caption that will help participant to understand the transcribed version of your voice. Now that you have seen how easy it was to implement real-time transcription, one more thing that you can do with real-time transcription is make use of webhooks. With webhooks, you can bridge the gap between your own system and video SDK. Let's say you created your own server and you want to add instant notification about transcription state. You can achieve that by making a few changes to the start transcription function. Here you can specify the webhook URL. Here, for testing purpose, we can use this website, webhook.site, to understand what you will get as response. Now, let me start transcription again. Now that real-time transcription is started, when I stop transcription, you will see here, I've got two response first response has a webhook type transcription started and second one has a webhook type transcription stop and this is the data you will get in request body this way we can make use of webhook in video sdk to improve meeting workflow so far we have discussed how to set up real-time transcription manage transcription states and make use of webhooks for better automated workflow in next video, we will explore post transcription summary where you can generate concise, well formatted summaries of transcriptions and we will make use of video SDK's incredible AI capabilities 
to get output works best for us. If you have any problem regarding implementation of this feature, you can join our Discord community.